Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about Adventure Time and HBO Max. Now, this was completely unexpected because we thought it was over. We thought Adventure Time was over. It ended on Cartoon Network last year. I think it was last year or earlier this year. And uh, we actually did a reaction to that. Uh, Squid King and I. Squid King uh, grew up with Adventure Time. And uh, both of us felt the ending was a little underwhelming. It felt like they, you know, for the... The uh, themes that the show presented for the plot lines, the threads, all that that the show presented, they really wrapped things up uh, way too quickly on Adventure Time, and uh, the, the ending was kind of felt kind of rushed. But now HBO Max is going to release four more episodes of Adventure Time, four hour-long Adventure Time specials. Uh, not exactly sure if it's uh, going to be a follow-up. I'm going to look into that in a second, or if it's get, they're going to take place in and around uh, the current storylines. This is really interesting, though, because HBO Max, remember, they're owned by Warner Media. Warner Media owns Cartoon Network. They own Rooster Teeth. They own Crunchyroll. They own Alation. And this sort of lends uh, uh, lends a little bit of credibility to, to our theory that HBO Max is basically going to uh, uh, be the home for a lot of original cartoon content from uh, Cartoon Network and from Rooster Teeth that eventually, maybe possibly, HBO Max will replace uh, Crunchyroll. That maybe Cartoon Network will just get reruns of what is you know already streamed on HBO Max. That's a possibility. Uh, but the fact that they are bringing back Adventure Time and they they announced this a week after they announced that they have exclusive rights to the Studio Ghibli collection. I mean, they're very very serious about animated content on HBO Max. I'm telling you, if you're wondering where High Guardian Spice and Thundercats Roar are because they announced them for Cartoon Network and then they they, they disappeared. Well, actually, High Guardian Spice was announced for Crunchyroll. Thundercats Roar was announced for Cartoon Network. And then they basically disappeared. I'm telling you, they're going to probably wind up on HBO Max. That seems to be where uh, all of their uh, cartoons are going. Their original animated content is going. And, and the reason for that being is pe people have to pay a subscribe. They have to pay to subscribe. So we're going to talk about uh, Adventure Time and HBO Max and Crunchyroll and all of that stuff. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. I think we're at about 70,000 subs. Hoping for 100,000 soon. Want to keep bringing you uh, content or opinions on the entertainment industry and yada, yada, blah, blah. So here we go. Uh, Animation Magazine. Uh, Animation Magazine. HBO Max orders four Adventure Time Distant Lands specials. So come along with me, HBO Max is recrystallizing the Emmy and Peabody award-winning journeys of Finn the Human and Jake the Dog through the Land of Ooh, greenlighting four new one-hour specials entitled Adventure Time Distant Lands. So is this going to be like a, a mini-series, like uh, Stakes or Islands? Uh, these HBO Max exclusive premieres will begin with the first two set to debut on the streamer in 2020. So it probably a launch or close to it. Um, here is the press release. The Enchanted World of Adventure Time has mesmerized viewers and critics alike as Finn and Jake right wrongs and battle evil, uh, said Sarah Aubrey, head of original content at HBO Max. The addition of these specials to the HBO Max kids and family programming lineup is sure to make kids everywhere say slam bam in a can. Yeah, so are they going to move all of the Adventure Time uh, content to HBO Max exclusively? They're going to take it off of Hulu? Um, all the Cartoon Network stuff is going to be on uh, HBO Max. It would appear that way. The 2020 release, BMO and Obsidian, will be followed by Wizard City and Together Again at a later date. So here are the descriptions for these episodes. BMO follows the lovable little robot from Adventure Time when there's a deadly space emergency. In the furthest reaches of the galaxy, there's only one hero to call, and it's probably not BMO, except that this time it is. Obsidian features Marceline and Princess Bubblegum as they journey to the imposing, beautiful Glass Kingdom and deep into their tumultuous past. Shipping. To prevent an earth-shaking catastrophe, Wizard City follows Peppermint Butler starting over at the beginning as just another inexperienced wizard school student. When mysterious events at the campus cast suspicion on Pep and his checkered past, can he master the mystic arts in time to prove his innocence? Together again brings Finn and Jake together again to rediscover their brotherly bond and embark on the most important adventure of their lives. I thought the most important adventure of their lives was the last episode of the series. I guess not. I guess not. So Adventure Time was a groundbreaking series and creative playground for so many talented creative artists, said uh, Rob Sorcher, chief creative content officer for Cartoon Network Studios. 
This is important. We're going to talk about that. Producing Adventure Time Distant Lands for HBO Max will allow our studio to explore this beloved world in an all-new format. Um, created by Pendleton Ward and executive produced by Adam Muto, uh, Adventure Time is a critically acclaimed show that garnered numerous entertainment awards and cultivated a generation of talent who have helmed such hit hits as uh, Steven Universe, Over the Garden Wall, and Clarence. Adventure Time Distant Lands is produced by Cartoon Network Studios. Uh, yeah, actually, Adventure Time, you can trace a lot of current cartoons back to Adventure Time. Uh, a lot of people who worked on Adventure Time went on to work on other stuff. Uh, some of them uh, successful, some of them not. Um, and I think this sort of started the, uh, kind of started the trend where a lot of the, the cartoons that started out for kids sort of became adopted by young adults. Uh, and a lot of young adults watch uh, Adventure Time. Now, this is, this is big. And it's big because this actually shows that even though uh, Warner Media is cutting back, they're willing to spend money on original content. Now, I, I do believe these specials will show up on Cartoon Network again at some time. I think they'll they'll repurpose them, kind of like they do with Sesame Street. I'm thinking uh, Sesame Street. The first run is on HBO, and then they they uh, you know wait about a year and then they rerun it on PBS for free. Um, so HBO Max is basically going to bankroll cartoons. I think. Um, that would seem to be the case where people are paying a subscription. They're getting to see this stuff way early and eventually it might make it to network TV, but probably not for, not for a while. So I got to wonder, you know, what kind of stuff we could see. I mean, if they're bringing adventure time back now, granted it hasn't been that long since the last episode, but if they're bringing adventure time back. Could they bring back other shows, you know, from cartoon networks past, you know, could we see, uh, could we see new chowder or something? You know, could we see, I mean, that, that would be kind of cool. You know, could we actually get an ending to the big O, you know, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. So, you know, nothing ever truly dies, uh, anymore. They just bring back popular IP. Uh, hopefully they have the same creative staff involved. I'd like to see them get Pendleton Ward, uh, more involved because in my opinion, uh, the show really lost uh, a lot when he left. Now, Squid King is a huge Adventure Time fan. I asked him if he wanted to be in this video. He didn't want to be in this video. He's like, I don't really have much to say. I'll check it out when it's on. But, uh, you know, he literally grew up with Adventure Time. Uh, watched it since the very first episode, the very first day it appeared. We remember the commercials. He got really excited. He was absolutely the target demographic at the time uh, when they had the commercials with the kids screaming, it's Adventure Time. What time is it? You know, running around and all that. And, uh, you know, he watched it uh, ever since. We used to watch it together until about season four or five. I got bored, so I dipped out. But uh, he's been watching it the whole time. So we'll, we'll check it out. We'll see. Um, but I, I think I'm, I'm kind of just excited that they're going to spend money on cartoons. I was really worried about that. I've been worried about that since, you know, we've been hearing all these uh, doom and gloom stories about how they're cutting back expenses. They're cutting back on rooster teeth. They're, and I'm like, oh my God, they're not going to do cartoons anymore because cartoons cost too much. You know, cartoons are expensive. Uh, and they are. Cartoons are very expensive. But if you can justify their existence with a streaming service, you know, then it makes sense. And, uh, you know, Adventure Time is, is definitely a good bet. I think it has a huge, huge fan base. So now the question is, how much is HBO Max going to cost? Because we've heard different, uh, uh, different price points. We've heard you know, 15, 20 bucks a month. And now it seems like it might be lower than we thought. It seems like they're going to come in lower, probably because of Apple and Disney and uh, everybody else doing these streaming services. We still know what's happening with, with Peacock yet, the NBC one. Uh, hate that name, stupid name. Um, so this uh, came from Fast Company today. They actually says AT&T feels a pressure from a wave of new streaming TV co competitors. One analyst believes the company's HBO Max service will cost less than previous reports have suggested. Yes, yeah, so far, HBO Max is going to be the most expensive. Um, we've heard that from multiple people. So uh, analyst John uh, Hudelik expects HBO Max to cost $12 per month or $8 per month with ads. Um, so that's not bad. That's not bad, but they do have to pay for shows like this. Uh, they do have Studio Ghibli. Um, they locked in Studio Ghibli. Disney Plus did not lock in Studio Ghibli. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, so it looks like HBO Max. I mean, look, um, animation is going to be hugely important to the streaming wars. Uh, we're, we're already seeing all these companies uh, scooping up anime properties. Uh, they're scooping up, uh, you know, classic series. They're, you know, animation is 
a bigger part of the streaming war, I think, than a lot of people think it is. They're just looking at all the live action shows, but uh, you know, animation has a lot of fans, and the preferred way to watch most animation now is is streaming. You know, people pay; they're used to paying one price for an all you can eat buffet of of uh, animated content. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how this goes down. Speaking of streaming announcements, and uh, I will put this, I will put this up. Um, and I did put this out on D-Res because we have had Kevin McKeever from Harmony Gold on the show before uh, to talk about Robotech and the fact that they've extended the license. Robotech is coming to Funimation. They're coming to Funimation. They'll probably uh, eventually be on the Funimation app, I'm assuming. Uh, Funimation, of course, is owned by Sony. So this is interesting, too. We're, and again, we're seeing a lot of uh, classic, classic cartoons uh, getting scooped up by various uh, streamers, various distributors, and uh, animation is going to be hugely important in the streaming wars. Uh, meanwhile, Disney is pretty much just banking on their own in-house stuff, and they own a lot of stuff. You know, they have a lot of series. They're they're digging back and they're um, promoting. They're going to have Disney afternoon shows on Disney Plus and all that. But uh, anime really is going to be the big draw, I think, and uh, we're going to see more combatants in the streaming war. Uh, you know gobble up what uh, anime they can so we're going to keep tabs on this situation the animation situation here on clownfish tv uh, but the good news is if you're an adventure time fan there's more adventure time coming so hopefully it doesn't suck hopefully uh hopefully it feels like the original show uh we'll talk to you guys later please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants goodbye thinking about printing your own comic books graphic novel or manga we recommend our friends over at Print Ninja. We've been using Print Ninja as long as they've been printing comics and both the quality and price is excellent. Mention Clownfish TV and get an additional 5% overrun of your book order quantity printed for free. For free! That's free books, people. Just mention this offer on the phone or in the additional information box on the quote request form. That's PrintNinja.com or click on the link in the description below. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.